Hello, hello, Five Fans, Five Fans. Let's get you guys back. We're coming into the finals of the 165 pound and under division. Both these guys are 2 0 in the Bay Area Combat Jiu Jitsu Arena. And we're looking for 3 0. We're looking for 3 0. Introducing our first competitor out of Claudio Franca in the red corner, Shane Torres. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, coming out of Fight Craft in Reno, we have Elias. The Garden Warrior, Anderson! Man, I'm pumped for this. Nah, this is gonna be a good one. Yeah, it's gonna be really good right here. High level compters. That's my baby screaming. Do you guys hear that? Behind the stool. All right, Elias, the black belt. Shane, also a black belt. You got some black belts meeting in the finals. No gi comp. Finals I guess that's typically why they make their belts black, I think, is because you see them in the finals a lot. Here we go, start of the round. Taking it slow. Yeah, a lot of respect for each other right now. You can see how calm both of them are. Both of them went into overtime on their last matches, so they both have a lot of time in today already. Elias pulling guard, going straight to the leg game. Both of them. Shane had a lot of uh, submission attempts in that last fight. He did. And then Elias with the actual submission in overtime in the last match. Got the legs. Elias keeping good control right now. Yeah, he's doing a lot of technical moves on the inside uh, on the foot. Nice push. Reach back, reach around, leg swap. That Smart with Elias right there, pulling back out to the middle. There we go. Yeah, keep the keep the wall away from him. Yeah, give yourself the chance, opportunity to make the move you need. Yes. You don't want the wall inhibiting your ability to turn a corner, get an arm triangle, uh, basically just about anything. Yeah, and there you go. You see him trying to sit back to the wall, use the wall to stand back up. That's why Elias wanted to pull him away from the wall in the first place. Elias usually pretty content with holding bottom, but uh, he's not getting it up right now. Let's see if he changes. There you go. few minutes into the match right now. Shane slicing the leg, almost passed, but is not able to quite get around it. Jumped over the top and there you go, a little throw through. Uh, he's got the leg, but oh, Shane Gator rolling out. Both well, rolling tough right now. I mean, you really see Elias trying to attack those submissions nonstop. That looked close. You see Shane's hand yeah, go in the yeah. air. He really needs to roll out of that. He really needs to keep rolling. And keep rolling. Elias has him in trouble, trouble, trouble yeah, right yeah. now. That is deep. He's going for that hard. Oh, oh. Elias is really going at that ankle. Shane rolled back into it pretty well. I, he might want to stand up. It looks like he got out. Yeah, there we go. Wow, that was good. Uh, Shane jumping in. He's got the leg pinned. He might be able to turn the corner. Uh, Elias really keeping a nice base. Keeping rounded and getting the legs back in. See Shane trying to put a lot of pressure. Get him up against that wall. He's trying to give Elias his 
little space as possible, which is probably a good idea, man. Elias is just really using those legs, keeping space, and being extremely intelligent with his transitions. He's making sure that he has something to attack at all times, no matter what move he makes. Yeah, Shane's very good at keeping control, but Elias is also very comfortable on bottom. So. Yeah, he's, he's extremely comfortable with these transitions right now. He's looking, he's looking for something on the in-betweens at all times. Yeah, he's taking advantage of all the space. Uh, any opportunity Shane gives him to get a hook in, get a leg involved, and isolate a limb. Nice hit pressure. No one yet with a clear, clear advantage. I like the foot on the hip. Uh, it's just such a pivotal move. Yeah. Able to keep someone away from you, create that distance to then maybe roll into a leg lock. Um, great hip control, great leg movement, great yeah. work by Elias and uh, Shane holding control. Uh, Elias has been great with that length this whole time using his legs. Encroaching on the halfway mark through this. This round right now, still pretty close. No one's got the clear advantage yet. Scramble Step right there. Over. Shane really trying to pressure. Shane looks like he's got an arm or, oh, no, that's Elias holding a leg. Yeah, Shane's really trying to pressure him to that corner right there, keep him, keep him out with, of space. Elias with the butterfly guard. And then we're back to neutral. Shane pushing him right back into that wall. Elias doing a great job again, using those legs, keeping that space. Yeah, really, Shane, really, really being active with his guard. Yeah, Shane's doing a great job. He's a, a big pressure athlete. I'd like to see him pass guard here, get that knee slicer across the uh, Elias's thigh, yeah, and get into side control and maybe isolate an arm. Uh, that's what I think you'd want to be doing as a, a bigger athlete. But Elias is doing a great job keeping his legs engaged and, and staying balled up. I mean, he really is. You can you can tell. You know, I mean, Shane definitely looks the stronger of the two, but man, Elias is just being extra, really, really intelligent with position in these transitions. He's just he's kind of riding Shane's strength like a wave right now. Yeah, that's what you need to do. You need to yeah. utilize, and it's that ball technique he's been working, getting the hips in, and keeping a leg in between him and Shane. Shane's really struggling with it. He is. Elias is making himself extremely frustrating with that guard. But uh, Shane doing a great job of continuing. There you go. There's the knee slicer. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be hard to get that pass. I think what he wants to do is somehow get an underhook involved. or He maybe. does for sure. About three minutes left in this match right now. Shane really relentless, not giving up on attempting to pass, showing his athletic ability. He is, uh, again, a pro fighter uh, out of Aptos, Santa Cruz, California. A lot of experience, working with a lot of good people. And Elias, uh, a black belt out of Reno, is that right? Yeah, yeah, he's been grappling in Reno for quite a while now. A little reset. Ooh, Shane with a little jump in. Is he going to be able to pass? Ooh. Nice move by Elias. Shane might be able to, uh, nope. Excellent move, utilizing the foot. Looks like they're going to need to reset. Break, break. Running clock, they're going to want to get going after it. Yeah. Not, not far from overtime, 750 cash prize. Second place, we'll get something. We still got a couple minutes left in this. And then we'll be headed to OT. Probably a little bit of fatigue wearing, wearing in on both of them right now, especially after their first two matches. I think they're both running through their head is what do they, how do they want to end this round? Do exactly. They, do they want to sacrifice anything? Do they want to hold? 
Do they and want just to, wait for OT. And and just what pressure do they want? I think this is very high level. Both very want very this high really, level. Really bad. And, oh. Uh, and oh, there we go. He's got a triangle. He's got, oh, that's in. Oh deep. man. Uh, Wow. Taff. Wow, Elias. Wow. Phenomenal job. That was awesome. With short time left. Where's the instant replay? Elias just jumped in the air, wrapped around the back, got an almost a figure four, didn't even have the figure four in, just grabbed the hips and uh, secured the neck. For what a, an awesome. Quick round of applause for that 165 pound and under finals there, guys. Beautiful match, beautiful match. Your winner out of the Central Sunny Blue Corner, Elias Anderson. Elias, there was a little, there's all, you almost got a, uh, uh, I don't even know what you hit, dude, but he gave you like almost a tap there. I almost called tap. Did that throw you through a loop? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had that, uh, I think it was inside cross Asha position for the inside heel hook. Um, I saw the hand go up, but I didn't feel the tap, so I was just, I was just, we're still live, you know. Um, I wanted it to be definitive, and that's why I just, you know, I kept going. And I was pretty certain that if I just led with my position and control and just patience, I was going to secure the finish. So that's what happened. Hey, that was a crazy back take. Uh, uh, very athletic, uh, explosive. It, were you planning something like that today? Um, not necessarily, no. I try not to plan anything. I just want to be well-rounded. Um, it was pretty cool, though. I was kind of going over the arm drag with Peter. Um, last match and he was showing me a little detail and so it was nice to hit that arm drag to the finish uh, in the finals hell yeah baby great finals we'll see you guys again your guys champion elias anderson hey out of santa cruz our runner-up shane torres shane how was that match for you today man it was good this guy is slick he's fast with the leg locks i was just a little too slow i needed to, needed to increase the speed a little bit but yeah that was a good one Hey, do you have any uh, MMA fights coming up, or what's next for you? Uh, here, I'm right here. I want to fight. I've been training for over a year. Yeah. Hey, let's get this man a fight. Everybody, Shane Torres, ladies and gentlemen.